Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I'm excited to share our June exploration with you. This month we'll be focusing on Deodramentus elderberries. The rich berry ink color flowed well and I found it to be slightly on the dry side with the ink drying in about 12 seconds. This is a low shading, highly saturated ink. I'd say it's semi-water resistant. Putting water over it makes some color pigments wash away to a pink hue, but it still leaves behind a dark line. One of my favorite properties about this ink is that it's scented with subtle and light floral notes. The scent is mostly noticeable when opening the bottle. The scent wafts up very faintly while writing, but it's not noticeable on the page after the writing dries. My inspiration for the drawing came from my fellow team member, Micah. He recently explained to me the difference between manta rays and stingrays. These manta rays and stingrays were a lot of fun to draw because of the different textures and reflections on their skin. It offered a lot of opportunity to see what this ink was capable of. I began my drawing with a pencil sketch. I like to sketch out all of my drawings in pencil first because it gives me flexibility to make changes before I put anything down in ink. Once I have my pencil sketch, I dip my water brush pen in a little bit of ink and start blocking in all of my shading. I prefer to work with the shadows first and then work my way to the highlights as the ink runs out from the brush tip. Usually I like to do a first run through of the shading and then go back once more for the finer details like the spots on the wings of the stingrays. After I was happy with the shading, I used the Twisby Eco 1.1 stub to go in and draw the outlines of the rays. I then went in with the Twisby Eco Extra Fine and added the smaller, finer details, like the creases and the lines. The bubbles were a fun, last minute addition to add some visual interest to the background. Overall, I think this ink stood out to me the most for its scented properties, fast dry time, and the color richness. Thanks for joining me for another round of ink exploration. To learn more, check out Dea Tremendous Elderberries at gulepens.com and write on.